हेलो एवरी वन नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्वे सिर इन स्पेस आई अगेन अपोलॉजाइज फॉर मिसिंग इन एक्शन द लास्ट वीक वी वेंट फॉर अ वेकेशन एंड आई कुड नॉट स्क्रेप अप द टाइम टू पोस्ट अ वीडियो आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू स्टे कंसिस्टेंट हियर आफ्टर ऑल्सो इफ यू आर वंडरिंग वॉट्स रॉन्ग विथ माई वॉइस आई एम हैविंग सोर थ्रोट after months of a vacation all the cool drinks ice creams cool water and of course lots of screaming took a toll on my throat hope you can cope up with this for this week enough of my updates how are you all hope you all are doing well in these scorching summers my god this year summer is literally testing our patience isn't it i am not at all able to stay anywhere apart from ac rooms and i really really feel for people who are out there working hard in this terrible heat really hats off to all those who are sweating their blood for their families and on top of this coming into the kitchen and cooking meals near the stove flame is really painstaking and with kids summer vacation <laughs> it is an icing on the cake they are constantly hungry and we are constantly cooking they want to keep munching or something on the other always am i right so here i am trying to help you at least with four easy and quick snack recipes with one base item that is idli so that you can quickly fix it for your kids and get out of the fuming kitchen also in the previous videos i shared many tips to store veggies and meal prep ideas which are going to come in handy for these recipes If you haven't watched them link is in the description box So without any delay let's dive into this video Here I took out all the required ingredients from my fridge so that I can prepare all the recipes simultaneously Before night I prepared idlis for dinner and few were a carry forward so I am using them today to prepare four delicious and kids friendly snack recipes. I am cutting some idlis into cubes and some into stripes and rest I have got button idlis. I will be using each type for each recipe as you will be seeing ahead in the video. You know if you have few items handy then these recipes are just a matter of few minutes as you can see i need onions in almost every recipe so having peeled onions ready as a meal prep saved me at least 10 minutes time as it is cold and it did not sting my eyes i also have peeled garlic in my refrigerator and i'm taking them out one tip to mince garlic easily is press the garlic with a flat knife and then chop them and they will get minced very easily So with all the preps done I'm taking out the kadais to make the recipes I'm using my stone wok here as it is non stick and it will be easy for me 
to stir the idlis so that they don't stick to each other this is the simplest of all all you need is some idlis some spices and a kadai that's all we are making idli fry i cut the idlis into stripes as you can see on the screen now in the kadai take some oil add little mustard seeds hing curry leaves little salt and the taste maker here is the sambar powder i use mtr sambar powder and its taste is very similar to the ones that we make at home now add little curry leaves and cut idli stripes fry them well i use non stick kadai as idlis have a tendency to break so i didn't want that to happen that's all toss them nicely and your instant idli fry is ready you can play around with spices of your own choice you can add peri peri mix or maggi masala magic or any seasoning of your choice the next is bhaji idli do you remember in a video i prepared bhaji mix and stored it in the freezer i am going to use that mix now but for this recipe we need to fry the idlis first for a while so that they don't become soggy while cooking so i have taken 1 teaspoon oil and i have fried the idlis Now in the same kadai I did not add any oil I added the chopped onions and ginger garlic paste This step is optional I did not add ginger garlic in the bhaji so I'm adding it now Once the onions turn pink add the required amount of bhaji For 2 idlis I'm adding about 2 ladles of bhaji cook until the oil separates now add the fried idlis mix them well and that's it your bhaji idli is ready in no time garnish it with fresh coriander The next is chili idli or idli manchurian. For this, we need to make a 5 minutes prep beforehand. Chop 3 to 4 garlic cloves finely as I have showed before. I have a green capsicum so I cut it into large cubes and in the same way I cut some onion petals too. In a bowl, take 1 teaspoon red chili sauce, 1 teaspoon dark soy sauce 1 teaspoon green chili sauce which is optional 1 tablespoon tomato ketchup and 1 tablespoon shezwan chutney this is optional but if you have it then add it it really enhances the flavor now for the corn starch slurry in a bowl add 1 spoon corn flour add little water and make the slurry mix everything well and keep aside Now in a kadai take some oil and fry the idli slightly for the same reason that I mentioned in the previous recipe This step will ensure that your idlis don't turn soggy Fry them nicely and keep them aside Now take 1 teaspoon oil in the kadai add the chopped garlic and let them turn aromatic don't let them turn brown as that will give a very bitter flavor now add the diced capsicum and onions and toss them nicely on high flame one tip for chinese food is that their food is always cooked on high flame that way the veggies get roasted nicely and don't get mushy So toss them nicely until the tips of the onion turn pinkish. Now add the prepared seasoning mix to this and mix it well. Adjust the salt as per taste and then add 1 tablespoon vinegar. I don't have vinegar so I'm adding 
ajinomoto if you have ajinomoto then add that too once everything is mixed well add the corn slurry to this mixture and mix it well adjust the consistency according to your need and then add the fried idlis to this mix it well and let it simmer for few minutes so that the idli soak all the flavors that's it your delicious chili idli is ready dish it out and garnish it with green spring onions if you have them Last but not the least is dhokla idli. Yes, you heard me right. This I learned from my buddy ma who stays in Surat. Once we went for summers to their place and she served us this dish as breakfast with green chutney and that's it. It became a cult favorite. So, for this also cut the idli into bite size and keep them in a flat plate. Now take a small kadai or a little bigger tadka pan if you have. I am taking this iron tadka pan which I use whenever I need larger tadka quantity. Add little oil, mustard seeds and dry red chilies and let them splatter. Add hing. Add slit green chilies for the spice content and curry leaves. Then add one small glass of water and let it boil and add salt and little sugar. Usually dokla is dominatingly sweeter but we don't like it that sweet so i am only adding little sugar to balance the flavors then add lime juice in the end or one lemon juice that's it add this mixture to the idlis and let them soak this water for few minutes These are the items I prepared and I call my kids to see their expressions they tasted and their review is here Meeka Tanvi This is dhokla idli this is bhaji idli this is chili idli and this is uh, idli fry okay okay now taste and tell me Eat slowly it's okay Which one did you like the most Bajidli Okay you will like chili idli and you like bajidli yeah. Okay fine Oh god it's so hot So hello everyone hope you like this video do try these recipes and let me know and if you follow the meal plans and meal preps that i've showed you in the previous videos then these uh, recipes are going to take you just like that so do try them and let me know in the comment section how did you like them till then take care bye bye keep waiting for the next video which will be soon bye keep smiling